In Watercolor 3, uh, our first lesson is going to be using just transparent watercolors. I have selected six colors, uh, two for each of your bias primaries, two yellows, two reds, and two blues. You'll be working with areolin, new gamboge, Permanent Rose, Cridacridone Red, Prussian Blue, and Windsor Blue Red Bias. And so you can see I've set up the palette with the Oriolin, the New Gamboge, the Cridacridone Red, the Permanent Rose, the Windsor Blue Red Bias, and the Prussian Blue. These are all transparent colors, so when you lay them down, they will always remain transparent. The subject you were supposed to pick for this assignment was to do a piece of fruit. It can either be an apple, or it can be a pear, uh, or something that has quite a bit of interesting markings on it. At this point, I'm ready to paint. My image has been transferred. I've made my tracing overlay and cut my window so I can see just the pick part on the painting that I want to paint. Uh, the next step is to actually identify the colors that we're going to need so that we know what sequence we're going to paint things in or what two colors have to be layered on top of one another because we're actually going to mix the uh, paint right on the painting itself or right on the drawing itself which makes this uh, a little trickier because what we have to do is we have to determine what colors are in our subject, figure out how to get those mixes, and then be able to mix them right on the drawing itself. Um, first of all, see what these colors look like just as they come out of the tube. Um, and I'm just going to use a cheap flat brush and dilute some of these so we can see what they look like. And um, I'll start here. This is my um, new gamboge. Uh, if we dilute it a little with water, what happens to it? So you can see what the gradation looks like. Uh, I'll do the areola next. And I'm basically cleaning my brush and running the color down so I can see how it looks in a transparent, uh, a more a thinned out layer. Um, this is the uh, Quidacidone Red. You can see it's a little uh, a little bluer than the Scarlet Lake that we have in our regular palette. That's our Windsor Blue. And then we have our Prussian. You can just see a slight difference in those two colors. Uh, so what do we do now? Let's see what happens when we mix some of these colors together. So let's try this Windsor or the uh, New Gamboge. Let's see what happens when we mix that with a little quinacridone red. And of course, depending on the uh, depending on the on the balance of the mix, you're going to get a little bit of a different shade. Um, but this is what you'll end up with if you were to layer the two colors together. Um, it's just that you will get a much nicer mix. So I'm going to try the new Gamboge with a little bit of Permanent Rose, clean my brush. That permanent Rose is strong. Let's bring it back a little. A 
Okay. Better. Alright, let's try the permanent permanent rose with a little areolin and see what we get. This is a quinacridone red and I better start labeling these. Otherwise I'm going to forget what I did here. And then we'll start mixing the areolin with the quidacridone red. Go easy on that red. See what we get here. Pretty. Now the next group we're going to do are the yellows with the blues so we can see what kinds of greens we're going to get because we may need some greens here. So I'm going to make up two batches of new gambos just to speed things along here. I've cleaned my tray, as you can see, so I have some more mixing area. And I know this seems like a lot of work, but quite honestly, it's going to solve a lot of problems for you ahead of time, so you know what you're, you have to deal with. And now I'll make two trays of areolin. By the way, my pigments were beginning to dry a little bit, my library of pigments, so I just added a little couple drops of water to them to keep them a little on the moisture side, just to make it easier to get these mixes done. Okay, so I'm going to take Windsor Blue, ding, 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 just a little bit, because I think this is pretty strong, and mix it into, oh well, it's quite green. Mix it in. This is with the new gamboge. Alright, so I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have to put those over here. It's a nice green. Just bleed it out a little so that we can see what it looks like thinned out. Brush, clean up my brush, and use a little. Prussian blue, mix it into the new gamboge, and thin that out. Okay, so this is, these are both new gamboge. This one is Prussian, and this one is Windsor. <laughs> 